This is a tutorial on selecting data formats, completing the research description, and providing the IRB approval in an IDARS request for data. In this tutorial, we will complete the sections Research Description, Data Selection, Data Format, and IRB Review Approval. To complete these sections, we need to have our research plan, an IRB approval or exemption, and we need to know what software package will be available to us for analyzing the data. We start at the ICPSR main page and go to the Find Data page where you can see that I have already logged in to my My Data account. We'll go to the Restricted Use Data page by clicking on the link at the bottom of this page. Clicking on the My Restricted Data Agreements button will take us back to the application that is associated with My My Data account. To open the application, click on the title of the project. Let's select the data and its formats first. In this study, the selection of data is pretty simple. The only options are the three associated data files. By default, all files are checked, but you can deselect ones that you do not wish to receive. Remember to check the codebook to ensure that you are planning to receive the data that are needed to answer your research question. With some studies, you may be asked to select variable categories or even individual variables and give justification for receiving each in this section. But this study asks for that information in the section on Research Description. Also, if there are data additions made to a restricted use study for which you have an approved agreement, you may be notified of the release of the new data and directed to this page to request it. Click on Save and continue to return to the main page and save this information. Next, we'll choose the Data Format section, which asks for your preferred statistical package for the data. Very often, the terms of the Restricted Use Data Agreement limits the user to a single copy of the data set. This is unlike the publicly available data on the ICPSR webpage, where you can elect and download any and all forms of the data. Here, we put our preferred formats in rank order. Let's rank this so that SPSS is the first choice, then SAS, then STATA, then TAB Delimited. At ICPSR, we try to make all formats available, but we can't guarantee that your preferred format will be. If it is not, you can request that user support convert the data into your preferred format before it leaves ICPSR. Let's click on the Research Description link to go to the page about our research project. This study asks the user to state the proposed research topic and why the restricted use data are required. This is a pretty typical request of potential restricted use data users. In some cases, the users are asked to provide a research plan or explain why they are requiring categories or individual variables. In this section, a concisely worded yet thorough statement about your research and why you require the restricted use data is needed. There's no need for citations or references or analysis plans. We don't have the option to upload a document, but we can write our statement in the space provided or copy and paste this information from another document into the box. If you are unsure how to complete this section, Refer to the description box below this video for information on this section of the IDARS process and the email addresses for staff with IDARS responsibilities who can address your question. Click on the Save and Continue button to save your work and return to the application's main page. Finally, let's look at the IRB review approval. To secure restricted use data, your research project must already have an IRB approval or exemption and a copy of the approval form or confirmation that the research is exempt must be uploaded to this section of the application before submission. On this page, the question is asked, is this project considered exempt? While we don't have an IRB approval or exemption for this demonstration project, we'll presume that it would be exempt. So let's click the radio button for yes and upload an exemption letter by clicking on choose file. 
Then we navigate to the dummy letter and select it. Also, this page asks you to enter the expiration date of the IRB approval or exemption, or the date when the exemption was granted. We'll use today's date to illustrate. If your project is not exempt but has an IRB approval, the radio button under the question about the exemption status should be set to no. Then click on Choose File to upload a copy of the IRB approval form. The expiration on your approval should be entered into the box. IDARS uses this date to send you reminders about your annual report for renewal of the IRB approval or exemption and when the expiration date for this agreement is approaching and the data needs to be returned or the agreement renewed. Click on the Save and Continue button to save your work and return to the main page of the application. You can see that most of the application is complete. The only part left is the Confidential Data Security Plan, which we will work through in the next tutorial. This has been a tutorial on selecting data formats, completing the research description, and providing the IRB approval or exception for an IDARS request for restricted use data.